Since getting their mandate as a stakeholder and becoming a national oil company by an act of parliament in 2016, KPHL has been involved in supporting the health sector, rollout of the electrification program and education apart from their involvement during the COVID crisis. They recently helped with funding with the National Cancer Center in Ley, which is in progress, and a 50 million kina cardiac facility at the Port Moresby General Hospital. KPHL Executive General Manager Corporate Affairs Luke Liria said their support in cardiac and cancer matters are of great importance in the country today. Uh, we've chosen cardiac and cancer we didn't go ahead and choose. We, we did a huge study on these two areas, and Umul wanted to find out where we would do our social investment in. And the government and the health department came back to us and said these two areas are critical for the country now. If you want to support us, this is the area. KPHL is also supporting aid radiation graduates as the country is at a point where it can no longer allow stop-start medical service delivery. KPHL has also been working with PNG Power in their investment hub in the LNG footprint in helping the government reach its 70% power delivery across the country by 2030. Liria said they have invested close to 70 million across Southern Highlands and Hela. And then the segments of uh, rural electrification, as my boss Waku said, across uh, Tiwaka, Chimbu, Goroka, we will slowly subject to annual operating plan. These things we don't. He said rural electrification is one key way that KPHL will use to reach the LNG footprint area and slowly help the government put its agenda through to electrify the nation. Karakiru Jr., TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.